Hi there, I'm Adam McDermott. Every now and again I get asked about the equipment I use and it's something I often wonder about when I watch other people's videos. I respond to those comments and give a big listing of things but it would be handy to have a video where I can just point people at. And for anyone curious, this is every bit of equipment I use to make videos. Starting with the camera. That is a Canon 70D. I've only been using this a little while and initially it was intimidating with the abundance of settings. I'm still getting used to it and certainly haven't found an amazing image quality in this location primarily because the lighting isn't appropriate. The reason for this is because the poster it has a shine in it, I've doused it with matte spray paint, it doesn't work and I got new lights which are proper soft. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Camera is Canon 70D, this is my limit, it's a thousand euros, more than adequate, I'll have this for a good few years to come. Microphone. This right here is a giant squid omnidirectional clip-on or lavalier mic, however you want to say it. It is good, but I am asking quite a lot from it because the room I'm currently filming in is small and there's a low hanging ceiling there. It's got hardwood floors, but I do have a carpet down underneath me. I haven't covered every bit of the surface. There's also a chest of drawers, which are wooden over here. It's not an ideal shooting location and I've given this no chance to get great audio, but it does the job. You can still hear a little bit of room reverb if you listen closely, but I try and use equalization to, in post-production to mitigate that. As for lighting, that is just a standard studio softbox uh, daylight light. <laughs> you go onto Amazon, you go onto eBay, and you just type in studio lights or softbox lights and whatever the first one you get is whatever the biggest seller is that's the one i have it's about 60 euros for a pair of them which is pretty good uh, good lighting is a really good investment when you spend a thousand on a camera you should probably spend 60 on a softbox lighting oh also the giant squid is uh 50 euros Next, voiceover. I use an Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Actually, hang on. Here she is. Uh, it's got a foam padding over the top of it. Hang on a second. You've, you've definitely seen this mic around everybody. Not everybody uses but it's pretty popular. Uh, yeah, there she is. Audio-Technica. The USB goes in there and screws on, you know, so you can hang it on a little podcast stand or you can hang it on a uh, proper stand, which I have. It's really good. It is very sensitive, hence the uh, the cover over it. And not only do I use a cover, but I also use a pop filter because before that I was using a blue snowball which comes in about 60 euros actually yeah audio technica 80 20 20 usb plus i that's about 110 euros everything included uh before that i was using a blue snowball which never picked up when i did voiceovers which never picked up uh popping from me i never picked up another thing which i was very strange is uh mouth clicking which is that type of stuff when you say certain words never picked up on that and then when i switched this mic I had to relearn voiceover for a little bit because I, it was just unbearable clicking every few words. I couldn't believe it. I was that poor doing voiceover after all these years. But when you add in the pop filter and you add in the foam shields, things get much, much better. As for the software I use, I use Adobe Creative Suite, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, the whole shebang. Primarily Premiere. I, if I can avoid After Effects, I do. Most of the time, for most of the videos, you just need a simple non-linear editing. You can use iMovie, you can use uh, Windows Movie Maker. Just, you're just looking to cut clips and then put sound underneath. Any non-linear editing software will do. My preference is Adobe Premiere, it's just the one I think I found out movies were made by. And I was like, well, if it's good enough for the movies, it's good enough for me. And then I started taking on projects where other people were using Adobe Premiere, so just made more sense to continue using Adobe Premiere and now I've gotten so used to it I don't feel like changing. Again any editing software is normally good enough. As for the computer I edit on it is one I built myself. The CPU is a uh, i7 Intel i7 core Intel core i7 <laughs> 6700k 
The uh, graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce G... I'm speaking way too fast, just mumbling these things out. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. Yes, I've also got a 4TB hard drive in there and a 250GB SSD, which I have installed my Windows 10 operating system onto. And ladies and gentlemen, when you boot from an SSD in comparison to a regular hard drive, it is like 20 seconds between pushing that power button to boom, you're in whatever you want. You're checking your email, you're editing videos, you're browsing Facebook. It's 20 seconds. Push, go. Brilliant. Before, when I had um, it installed on my other computer onto a hard drive, it was like, push the power button, go make a cup of tea. <laughs> Hopefully by the time I'm finish my cup of tea, the computer will be ready to go. So yeah, uh, SSDs are the way to go, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes the general portion of this video. The camera, the mic, the lights, the computers, the editing software, this can be used by anyone for any video project. What I'm gonna show you now next, what I'm gonna show you now next, what I'm gonna show you next is how I film platinum journey and I use different equipment for that oh yeah the camera's on a tripod I probably should have mentioned that it's a tripod it is a plastic tripod I think it has 30 bucks uh, yeah I was on amazon.com 30 bucks any tripod would do ladies and gentlemen or just uh, what I used to do was I'd use a step ladder I just put the camera on top of it just rest on a flat surface you're fine so yeah uh, General portion over onto how I film Platinum Journey. For those who don't know, it's a series where I document the ups and downs of getting a Platinum Trophy in brilliant games. First thing, please forgive the messiness. Okay, I share this house with three other people. This isn't a room dedicated to filming. Other people use it. I set up shop and hog the place in the evenings. <laughs> So again, the carpet is filthy, there's a mess, but just bear that in mind, this is a living space as well. Okay, this is the room. Take you through. You'll see here the soft box lights, two of them. And the floor here is the old computer, which is now just a dedicated capture machine. And an ancient monitor, which I get the game stream through, just to make sure I am actually recording. Behind, you'll find a PS4, vital, for making an episode. You can't make a show about Platinum in games without a PS4. And to the right, you'll see the capture device, an Elgato Game Capture HD. I know there's a HD60 that's now out and about, but I don't do 60 frames, because my other camera equipment doesn't do that. There's the TV, not too shabby. Behind it is my old TV. I kid you not, look at the tuchus on that. Don't make them like they used to. There's my other light, and here is the camera. This is a Canon Legeria HF76. I believe it's called something else in the US, but it's a camcorder, which is great about this. It can record for hours on hours on end. There's a power adapter, so I never have to turn it off. The memory card can do six hours without stopping. It's beautiful. And that is the tripod, again, bog standard, made out of plastic. And this is my seat. Pretty darn comfy. On the right hand side, there is a USB Bluetooth keyboard, which is perfect because it's miniature, typing in file names and looking up collectible guides. Here's the table with all the games. I have a physical copy of which that I platinumed. No MGS3 or Shovel Knight. And over its shoulder, there's Bender and Fry. Hello. There's books I'm currently reading, which you probably never see, and this is the microphone I use when recording an episode of Platinum Journey. It is small, it is discreet, it is a JK something or other, I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's so tiny, you can barely even see it when I'm wearing a black t-shirt, which is why I wear a black t-shirt. So this is my view when I sit down. Camera, lights, TV, computer on the floor to make sure I'm actually recording. And that's everything I use to make barely adequate videos on the internet. <laughs> so hopefully this uh, answered any questions you might have or fulfilled some sort of curiosity or at least gave you a peek behind the scenes. Uh, if you have any further questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, for those, I already know what one of the questions is going to be. The next episode of Platinum Journey 
Still working on it. Uh, I'm doing Bioshock and I'm trying to platinum it in one playthrough and it's turning that one playthrough into something monstrous. I'm ticking away at it, but <laughs> it's going to take a while. Uh, yeah. Anything else, let me know. Until next time, take care.